Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can set a different volume level for when you lock Windows 10 and for when you unlock it. So you're going to do this with a script and you're going to have to make a few changes in PowerShell so you need admin rights. The first thing you want to do is you want to download a file from GitHub called Audio Device Commandlets. To get the link to these files, visit the link in the description of this video. Download the file and then save it someplace where you know you aren't going to delete it. You're going to need to enter the path to this file in this next step. Open PowerShell with admin rights and run the commands that you see on your screen. Run the command one by one and in this path here that you see next to copy item, you want to replace it with the path to the file that you downloaded before. So that's about it. The command that has been imported and installed. Once you run these commands in PowerShell, you can create the script that's going to set the volumes. Open Notepad and paste this bit of code that you see on your screen. You can change it to suit your needs. Replace 20 with whatever volume you want to set for your system when you lock it. Create a second script and the code is going to be the same but you want to change the volume level to whatever volume level you want when you unlock your system. You have to save both these scripts with the PS1 file extension. In order to run the script, you have to create a scheduled task. Open Task Scheduler and click Create a New Task. Give it a name that tells you what the task is for and give it a description to be safe. Go to the Trigger tab and for this task, you want to select on Workstation Lock. Go to the action tab and select the set a program action. In the program slash script field, you want to enter PowerShell and in the argument section, enter what you see on your screen, but change the path to the path to the script that you created before. For this task, you want to set the path to the script that will um, lower the volume when you lock your screen. So go ahead and save the task and you need to create a second task that's going to run the second script that you created for increasing the volume when you unlock your screen. Follow the same process as before but you want to change the trigger to on workstation unlock from here. And in the action tab you want to select the script that you created for increasing the volume. That's about it and make sure you give both tasks a name that tell you what they're for because you might want to disable them later on and it's going to be easier to find them if you know that they have a name that makes them easy to identify. I'll see you later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.